वेलकम टू डिप्लोमेसी इंडिया डॉट कॉम आई एम वी एन झा एंड यू आर वॉचिंग आर स्पेशल शो एम्बेसडर फेस टू फेस विद एम्बेसडर द एनवॉय स्पीक्स टूडे वी आर विथ द एम्बेसडर ऑफ वेनेजुला ऑगुस्तो मॉन्थियल एट द एम्बेसी ऑफ वेनेजुला एज यू मस्ट बी अवेयर द नैम समिट इज गोइंग ऑन इन वेनेजुला द सेवेंटीन नैम समिट इज हैपनिंग ओवर देयर सम हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी कंट्रीज आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन इट and those countries belong to group of 77 also it happens to be uh, an anniversary of bandung <coughs> conference also 55th anniversary i think of bandung conference so honorable ambassador your excellency welcome to diplomacy india the first thing our viewers would like to know from you is what are the pre preparations which have been done for the success of this summit and what is the theme of 17th nam summit at venezuela yes thank you very much indeed uh, uh to you our friends uh, from diplomacy world um the main topic to be discussed and it actually been discussed this moment in venezuela uh today is the 15th of august it started two days ago mm -hmm. the topics are peace in the world respect of sovereignties in the world solidarity in the world in order for development to take place peace sovereignty uh, solidarity for development uh, nowadays and every day these are the topics of the development of democracy in the world if you need democracy then you need peace if you need peace then you need some kind of way of making people feel that they are part of humanity that is inclusiveness that is inclusion and the nam summit the 17th summit of the non aligned movement in fact is after creating uh being able to contribute to create a global governance system a system of global governance that concrete actions for a fair inclusive transparent and effective system of joint global governance joint global governance that is the countries of the north joined with the countries of the south that is the countries of asia africa and latin america joined with the countries of europe and north america uh wanting constructing and allowing a world to develop according to the needs the interests the desires and the spirit found in all the places of the world the world is not just europe and north america the world is a lot more than that the world are millions of people who live in asia in india in southeast asia everywhere else in africa and in latin america our interests our needs are important and the world cannot develop without the participation of africa north america i mean africa latin america and asia the majority of countries and the majority of populations in the world are in those countries developed countries we can say are countries that have achieved industrial development mm. but we can also say that in every country of the world there is a civilization mm. and civilization means the possibility and the ability to create peace in the world so at the moment who which countries are able to create peace in the world that is a matter of discussion how can we make sure that the principles of uh, the united nations the charter of the united nations how can we peoples from the whole continents of the world contribute to create peace in the world we think that it is uh respecting the principles of the united nations but since there are countries in the world those called <clears throat> developed and industrialized countries apparently their leaders do not follow the concept of uh respecting the charter of the united nations and they are the ones who violate these principles often every time 
in economics, in politics, in society, then that means that the relevance and the importance of non-alignment and the importance of the non-aligned uh, uh, movement is more than ever a vibrant fact. So, nowadays. Ambassador, it brings me to another question. Question: You were saying that the relevance of NAM. So, as the critics said that critics of NAM, that NAM as an ideology has outlived its utility. Why? Because Cold War is over, the the bipolar system is over, but. Other people, other other analysts, they say no. As you yourself have agreed with it, that world is full of strife, tensions, inequitable world order, inequitable economic uh, or order, the problems of South South cooperation and domination. Of, uh, remember, domination. Domination. Remember that. Remember that the actual yes. uh, bringing uh, yes. to place of yeah. uh, non-alignment yeah. was that the end of yeah. colonialism true, true. Uh, after the, the end of four, uh, the, the yes. decade of the 40s and the decade of the 50s okay. actually said yes. that the end of colonialism brought a new world. Yes. Well, we think, and it's obvious, that there is a new way of colonialism, mm -hmm. there is a neo-colonialism, neo yes. and we cannot mm -hmm. uh, share the view mm -hmm. that the world is near mm -hmm. uh, a better place if you allow colonialism, then, yes, it cannot yes. be like that. Then there, 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 there are problems of war and peace, there, as you said. Of extreme poverty, of, of climate, change, climate change, of environmental ideas, hazard, of global security. Global security. Are, um, threats arising yeah, from threats all these problems, from, yes, from yes, extreme yes. poverty, mm -hmm. and from the intention mm -hmm. of some countries to dominate mm -hmm. others. For example, who says that the countries uh, whose wealth for example, oil. Mm. And Venezuela is an example. Mm. Venezuela has the largest oil reserve mm. in the world. Yes. So, yes. why do we have to become a military, a military objective? Mm -hmm. Because we have oil underneath our soil. We want oil for cooperation, for international cooperation, and for development, not for domination. Oh. And there are those countries, obviously, in the twenty-first um, century, who think that domination and colonialism should continue and therefore they themselves by trying to uh, make that um, a matter of the present are bringing the importance of NAM uh, yeah. summits uh, so, okay, Excellency, uh, to be there. Excellency, I mean, yes. you, you, you think that uh, the NAM summit, uh, the hosting of the NAM summit is going to provide a very larger and very relevant window to Venezuela itself, which is going through turbulence, a turbulent phase, I mean, economically. So it, it is Economically and politically. Why? Politically. Because there are countries in the world, yeah. like our friends in the north, mm. not the population, but the mm. government of the United mm. States, they say always that uh, democracy in Venezuela shall only be democracy if it allows the United States to take control of our oil. Now, democracy in Venezuela comes from the existence of the constitution of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, written, debated, and discussed by 85% okay. of the people and approved in universal referendum. So, we are for the revitalization of the United Nations General Assembly, the revitalization of democracy in the international institutions. Are you looking forward to moving special resolutions in this NAM summit, which can later be taken up at the United Nations also, or for mobilizing the public opinion of a very larger humanity, the 120 countries? Yes, we would like to uh, all countries to definitely respect the United Nations Charter, which is uh, um, enhanced by the principles of Bandung. And the principles of Bandung, yeah. the ten principles of Bandung, are precisely the substance, substance. of the non-aligned uh, countries. Call it whatever you like. Call it non-alignment, call it... But certainly, non-alignment is not about bipolar world. Non-alignment yeah. is about creating a multipolar world yeah. Yeah. where um, uh, uh, emerging economies, emerging leaders, uh, country leaders, emerging visions of the world can all coexist together. together. We cannot have a world without use of force. Without, without the use of domination. force, with uh, the base of the peaceful resolution of conflicts. Yeah. 
That's why Latin America was precisely in the hands of President Chavez, was and uh, decided to be a, a region of peace. A region where nuclear power will not, nuclear power for military purposes, will not exist. Therefore, we are there uh, for the recognition and the respect for diversity in a global society. Okay, Ambassador, so thank you very much for being with Diplomacy India. This is, this, India. this is VN Jha along with Amay Sate at the Embassy of Venezuela in New Delhi for DiplomacyIndia.com.